Welcome back. I forgot to hit the button, so this is going to take forever to load. Welcome back. Let's play some Tenma games here on Shogi Wars. The last time we played, I think I played Central Fall Rook, or at least attempted to. Um, there was one game, at least, where I got caught um, playing something else. And I think that was just unfortunate. Um, good luck. So, today, again, I'll try to play this strategy. Uh, okay. This doesn't even count for Primitive Central Rook for some reason, so I've probably misplayed this somehow. Um, I should have exposed my bishop to attack the center of the board. I did not. That's a blunder on my part. I want to pr ask if they are going to build Anaguma Castle. Generally, if I push this pawn, generally the opponent doesn't bother building it. Okay, I'm gonna also... <laughs> I'm also discouraging this uh, pawn move. I put my rook where I really would rather have my silver be located, so... Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. It's kind of exciting, I guess, but this is not accurate. Because I've shut down my own attack. Um, and my opponent still gets to push their rook forward. And get a pawn in hand. They might have had silver takes pawn there. Um, I didn't read that out. So, yeah, this is not even close to accurate. Hmm. Well? In for a penny, in for a pound? So at this point, since my position is so messed up, I can commit to this bit of... Um, Hmm. I don't know what next to try. But, yeah, this... My rook is offsides. This is awkward as heck. Um, my opponent would threaten to take my pawn if only they could move the silver. So... Uh, I'm kind of surprised I haven't seen anybody play this kind of setup before. Okay. Um, I should transpose back into something that makes sense and not have my rook out in no man's land. Okay, what? I'm getting carried away. So I can sacrifice here and then drop the silver behind this pawn and then take this here. So I have a plan. Is it a good plan? I'm not sure. But it is a plan. And at this point, what else can we hope for? Oh, I trapped my silver. This is... <laughs> yeah, they can drop the bishop down here. Um, I could push and push, but then they have two golds covering this. Oh, no. 
But yeah, Bishop here is really strong. Um, and if I had common sense, uh, there's a good chance I would resign after such a drop. But actually the bishop does make a target. I could take this pawn, then race the silver up, take this pawn, take the knight. Um, so them having a bishop on the board means I would have one extra target to aim at. But, uh, yeah, this is... I'm guessing they have some other way to deal with this, too. I'm guessing I'm also counting on, like, the range of this rook and bishop being somewhat limited. Um, yeah, if this silver were already threatening this, and if somehow they safely pushed and took 5-5, five five, I would not have anything here. Um, yeah. Oops. Well, we'll just play this. This is the curse that I've left myself with, so we'll just have to deal with it. I could have chased this bishop. I don't know if that is profitable or not to chase. But I didn't look. Um, not looking is pretty careless. Yes, I'm up on the clock, but um, I could have also moved the knight forward. To yeah, this sort of interesting too. I th it's possible what I played is the best move. Um, okay, where is this bishop going? Oh, they could take this pawn. I could take the knight. Um... This looks somewhat interesting. Yes, yeah, so this was my clever-ish idea. Let's play the unexpected move. Um, so it's possible this might be a good combination. Oh, ouch, that hurts. Interesting. Barbie tactics in this position. I've got two pawns in hand. Um... All right, so they'll do bishop takes, and they expect me to do one thing, and I'm going to do something else. If I had a third pawn, this position would be much more convincing. But as it stands, I can't strike this thrice in a row because I don't have three pawns. I guess I could have dropped a pawn, dropped a knight, and then somehow tried to drop another pawn. Um. Oh, wow. Wow, that's... that's a move. It is a legal move. Um... Okay. I did not expect them to just give up a horse for... I guess they're getting this gold instead of this gold. But 
Uh, I can prevent them from getting a dragon. Okay, then. They don't want a dragon. That's kind of cool. Not the way I would have played it, but sure. It's legal. And then I get to get a horse. <laughs> hmm. Do I take the lance? I think I need it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oops. Um, that's a mouse slip. Yeah, a promoted pawn would have made more sense there. Um, just a bit. Oops. Well then, um, we'll attempt to recover this again. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Um, okay, we'll promote it this time for real, even though now my horse is blocked. Um, And then I'll promote over here as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should just step this over. Well, no, this knight is in the way of my defending my castle. So I need to move the knight. Uh, that's a fork. Gofun. That's a good fork. Um, oh, wait, wait, um, hmm, yeah, I have to defend. All right, that's a forced promotion, so I can't mess that up. Um, Let's promote this too. Let's take one of those. Hmm. Hmm. How to make progress. Well, yeah, this is one way. We just keep moving toward the castle.
Wait, I should have taken this and then dropped it down there. Ah, uh, they have a bishop now. That's kind of a problem. Yep, I'm kind of cooked here. If I got a knight out... No, the knight out here wouldn't help. A uh, knight here doesn't help either. Um... Hmm. How complicated. How complicated. Um... Is there any saving this? Oh, well... Sampun. Hmm. That's ugly. This wins one tempo at the cost of a knight. Oh, again, I should have just taken this and dropped it. I'm being ridiculous. Um, yeah, they could drop it silver again, and it's very difficult for me to cope with. And... Okay, so let's exchange some pieces. All right, we'll opt for the crazy variation. They can drop down here, and my king runs. Welcome. Sup? So okay, am I getting checkmated here? Not sure. Yes, they have tons of pieces in hand, but, um, oh no, yeah, okay, I misread this. This is pretty elementary. All right, nicely played. Thanks for the game. One down, two to go.
Nah, there was no saving that. Good luck. Um, after I failed the pawn promotion the first time, there just was not any coming back from that. Oh, this is risky because if I don't guard this hole with my king, bad stuff can happen. Um, whoa, really? I guess that makes sense. It's been a while since I've last fallen for this. Um... So this bishop, oh wow. Uh, I'm not sure that this qualifies as falling for it anymore. Our opponent has picked the most aggressive possible continuation. Um, but I'm not sure that it works. I guess there is a fork here if I get too greedy. Okay. Even the, though the opponent is a heavy rating favorite, um, maybe they're on a losing streak or something. Like, yeah, I tend to play some pretty fun moves, but um, this opponent is playing some exciting moves here. So... I get to play some exciting moves too. But this gold is hanging. I didn't even notice, because it, it's not even the most important feature in this position. Um, when everything is hanging... Um, hmm. Okay, I'll attack this dragon. I could... Wait, no, I thought I had a lance. No, I was going to move the rook over, but then there's a bishop fork. And that was too much for me to try to read. Okay. Rook drop pawn drop? Question mark? Okay, that's what they're trying to prevent. Um... Hmm. So I've dealt with most rook drops at this point. Mm hmm. That is a legal bishop drop. Oh, I had a piece hanging, apparently. Um, I guess that's pretty important.
I guess I'm forced to grovel here, so I'll grovel a bit. Mm -hmm. Nana fun. This is perfectly safe. What could there possibly be to worry about? Ah, uh, yes, the pawns. Um. Hmm. Hmm. There are tactics everywhere here. Um... This, I think, holds on the longest, but it's only a matter of time. Pawn drop, I take. Knight drop, and I'm toast. But they didn't see it. Um... Maybe they don't need to see it. Ah. Uh. Okay, my normal trick there doesn't work. Um, do I resign yet? Wait, hang on. Oh wait, no, I'm just blind here. I'm losing a gold for nothing. Um, yeah, this was not smart. I could have done that without giving up a tempo. Go mm -hmm. How much can I get away with here? Almost nothing, but still. Oh. Oh, that's cool. For completeness sake, let's take a look. If I take here, they drop this. So... Um... Yeah, I have to continue running. Alright, thanks for the game. Two down, one to go. Can we get a five down next, please? Just asking. Good luck.
Hey, that's my move. <laughs> All right, fine. Whatever, this looks exciting. Um... Sure, I guess. Oh no, they're gonna get a dragon. It's the end of the universe. Maybe I should have dropped a pawn here instead. And then they take... Well, I'm sorry, this rook doesn't take the knight immediately. Yeah, I get so hung up on this fork trick and this promotion trick. I forgot I could just drop a pawn and... No, they drop a pawn in turn. It's not that great. Um, but yeah, they'll promote here. And... I think this is okay. They shouldn't take this lance because it leads to a ton of trouble. But, um. Yeah, I have a castle. My king is slightly defended. They. We both have a knight. We both have a bishop. Um. Normally this silver would have moved out, and this would be a lot safer. They probably should just move this out. And I don't have a, any plan here. Um, like, sure, I would like to open the center file, but that's not under my control. Not even close. Yeah. So, I've just got an inferior position and no plan. What could possibly go wrong? I could drop the bishop here, and then sack it for the gold, and then try to... Now, this is crazy. It's too much. Um... Any night drop I can make would strongly be countered by any night drop they can make. I think. Unless I drop the knight and then promote this pawn. That seems to be the only useful night drop I have here. Because then the pawn hits with a fork. Okay. Um... That looks cool. It's a bit... Hmm. Hmm. It's difficult for me to criticize. Hmm. Wait, no, I can dodge that bishop attack. Yes, I'm just going to run away. And now the bishop's not hitting anything. I guess it's hitting this lance. But all things considered, a lance... Oh. Oh, wait. Uh, okay, wait. But they took with the dragon instead. Like, a lance could be actually quite severe here, but they did a confusing move. If they did bishop takes, then lance 5-5 five five would be pretty severe here. But since they did dragon takes, I can actually run the rook over here dodging this lance. Um, they could promote down here, but then I get the bishop. Oh, they can ret while well, retreating the horse. I get to promote. Yeah, I lucked out. 
even if they drop this lance, I probably should just push and hope that I'm not dead. Because uh, any attempt to like generate counterplay through moving the rook is quite tactical. And I'd be surprised if all the tactics favor me. Although they might, but... Well, no, the lance on 5-5 five five cuts off the bishop's axis to this square. So... Oh, wait, um, yeah, if the lance drops here, running the rook might not lose. It's dangerous, but, um, typically one would just push here and exchange pieces as the opponent keeps exchanging and hope that things would work out, um, but this rook here is actually possible since this bishop is hanging. Yes, let's go down this ugly rabbit hole. Of, I'm probably going to lose my rook for nothing. Other than Tempe. But Tempe are probably worth it. If you win enough moves for a piece then it kind of staves off the material loss. Incredibly, I could not find a move. Or, I didn't see what my opponent would play here. There might be something. I could be missing it. Okay, that is the most aggressive continuation here. If I take here, yeah, I see. Like I said, I, did, I would be surprised if all the tactics favored me. This one seems not to. Um, we'll continue down this crazy rabbit hole. So now horse takes is possible. But now I have this bishop drop. Trying to defend the castle, attacking the dragon, and aiming at their king. So, um, yeah, and I said I'm probably losing my rook for nothing other than Tempe here. Um, well... They want me to promote my rook. That's crazy. Okay then. They could just drop a pawn and then my rook can't defend this anymore. Um... I could drop a lance to hit this. I am up on the clock by a lot. What a mess. Lance drop, king over, lance takes silver. Okay, they cut off my bishop. That's reasonable. Um, should I push this? 
gives them a knight. But I don't Not think they, I don't think they profit from having a knight here. Now let's do this. Hmm. What a mess. Okay, we want to promote this. Oh, right. Um... I was fixated on winning a gold general, because gold generals are pretty useful. Um, I forgot that this could still be quite dangerous. So my bishop has to recapture if they sack this horse. Well, no. No, that's not true. Um, hmm. Hmm. What does this accomplish? Oh, interesting. Yeah, this does look like it accomplishes something. I think I just have to proceed forward and pretend there's nothing here. Um, not sure about this. Okay, if I take their bishop draw. Hmm. Yeah, if silver takes... The bishop drop in the back rank is super spooky. Um, they need to surround my king here. So, however they would cap the square, they need to cap it. Okay, that does create a cap. Um, Okay, I want to avoid giving the opponent too many pieces to attack with here. Um... Oh. Oh, that's a mess. Yeah, no, I'm dead. Um, I think. 
pretty sure. Bishop. Mm-hmm. Nicely played. Cool. That's 0-3 for today. Nicely done. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. So, uh, my rank and rating, whatever. I'm still 1Q. Looks like I'll be that way for a while, because I still have not studied my openings properly. Um, my opponent was on a good winning streak, so uh, hopefully they'll have a chance to rank up and we might see them again in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.